welcome friends to yet another episode of pause talk and today we have vivacious dr rabia bhatia welcome rabia thank you so much dr monica it's so nice to be here and thank you so much for using beautiful beautiful adjective vivacious that's so <laughs> nice of you thank you once again yeah so uh, rabia bhatia is a mompreneur she is a model she is mentor she is a global sdg ambassador she is a public speaker and lot more which she is going to tell about herself now please do that <laughs> thank you so much for beautiful wonderful introduction dr monica the way you have introduced me mompreneur that is something you know uh, everybody asks me when i give my introduction or when i say this thing about me that i am a mompreneur so first of all very few people understand the you know the verbiage actually that what is mompreneur so mompreneur is nothing actually it's a combination of a mother and an entrepreneur actually so in spite of saying that i'm a mother and i'm an entrepreneur as well it's better to say mompreneur because you know as a mom i feel always proud that i have been blessed with two daughters who have been a great 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 support to me for the entire life throughout my journey whether it was a uh, you know uh, you know whatever situation i was in they were always standing beside me they were always standing behind me and they were always standing ha- holding my hands together so we wow. took the those steps in the small small steps together in throughout our life journey yet so yes i'm a proud mompreneur actually and the way you said yes i've been uh, uh, you know awarded multiple times for promoting sdg sustainability towards women empowerment quality education and uh, equality actually because i believe every individual is equal yes and uh, i i'm sure you also believe in the same thing you also Absolutely. believe in the same philosophy that Absolutely. we are all same actually actually we are all humans there's no gender actually uh, we are all humans i always tell people if you uh if somebody uh, is a lady and uh, probably she is uh, of not your caste but if you are getting a kidney out of that person you will very hurriedly take that kidney and that kidney would be a life saving for her, one for you but at that moment there is no caste no creed no gender there is no caste creed is also <laughs> yeah so absolutely. that you know, i put it through it yeah absolutely so, so much very thank wonderful. you yeah very so, beautifully uh, said you know you have given such a nice example that you will take the kidney because we have to save our lives but we yes. won't respect the individuality because due to hmm. some caste creed and color uh, you yeah. know status quo that that comes up in our minds actually so mindset yes. have to be changed yes of course yeah thank you so much for that wonderful introduction of yours i would now uh, ask you to share your because this is such a multifaceted kind of a personality and i would like to uh, get to know more about how your professional journey started and how you put your hands into all of these things thank you so much dr monica you know i was talking to one of my friend uh after you know ages i was speaking to her i won't call it a friend but yeah we were colleagues actually working in the same company and we spoke after around 8 years basically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she was like she had the same question in mind that rabia we you are an inspiration for so many women and how you have been handling so much oh uh, ta- so many tasks at the same point of time you are a model you are a mentor of change you are a speaker you are you are running your own venture and at the end of the day we cannot forget the most important part that is i am a mother also right yes, i am a yes. daughter also so these things also comes into picture because we have our family with us yes we yes. just can't forget those responsibilities also so uh, i only answered i answered her very in a brief actually because we were talking on a call and she was also working i was also working so i just said it's i said that see nobody is going to encourage me nobody is going to to motivate me it's me who have to encourage myself each day hmm. every moment because hmm. we as women uh, 
the one side of a woman is like we are very emotional. We have to keep working towards that so that the knots of our family are always joined and yes. they should not depart. And the more other side, we are professionals also. So yes. we have to keep motivating ourselves. So at times, what passion, the passion comes into picture. Mm. So this is my passion to keep working, to keep learning something new, to keep doing something new so that the other women sitting on the other side of the world or other side of the screen, they should understand, they should realize the importance of being a woman actually. Absolutely. Because at times we forget that, that we are women, we also need time for ourselves, we also need some passion in our lives and we also have dreams to fulfill. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, modeling is, was my passion since childhood. Uh, <laughs> I became ambitious since the time I started working and yes, doing something purposeful for the society, for the future generations was always my goal. So the three hmm. things came into picture and that is how I started working towards each and every side of the whatever yes. I'm doing now. Understood. Understood. So beautifully said, Rabia, that how a, a woman or man also, I can say, anybody who has that clarity of their goals, clarity of their mindset, with that clarity, they can balance it out. Because this is all about balancing your work and your work and your home and your own life. So how you are able to balance and I always tell balance does not mean that you have to give small, small bits here and there. Balance means that you give your 100% whatever you are doing. Absolutely. So that is the actual balance which we talk about, right? So uh, amazing that you are able to really, uh, I'm saying inspire because motivation is a very small thing because motivation is very restricted. You get motivated and you forget. But inspiration is what you take it for a longer thing, longer way. So I always tell that, yeah, a lot of people have that inspirational qualities and one of you uh, is here with me today. How sweet <laughs> of you. So the morning, so that, know, it all yeah. started uh, answering to your question, basically, the, how it all started. You know, I was never a career ambitious woman, to be honest. I was a very simple girl. Uh, had similar kind of dream that I will have a family, I will have a house, beautiful house, take care of it and I will get up in the early in the morning, water my plants, sit in the garden, have a cup of coffee with my family, with my spouse and then yes, the day will start and then the, the, they will go to office, kids will go to school and they will come back in the evening and we'll have dinner together and that's how the day will go. But you know, uh, uh, the life doesn't go by our own plans actually. Life has set its own plan. Yes. Life is different. The realities of the life is different. What we dream and what we live is completely different actually. Yes. And uh, so that is how it is. I started working after, uh, you know, my younger daughter basically. And uh, sooner, slowly, 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 I became very ambitious. And I thought, let me just give 100% there and 100% here as well. Because otherwise, I would not be doing justice neither to my uh, being a mother or not being a professional woman, actually. Yes. So, I try to give my best in both at both the ends. And yes, with the blessing of the God, it's been a great journey. So far, so good. Yes, there are always complaints coming from here or coming from there but that's life actually and you have to yes. understand I think there won't be complaints they are giving you feedback they're your well yes. wishes we have to take it very positively Absolutely. and that is how the individuals improve that is how we improve on daily basis actually actually so that now that we know that how you started it on uh, the beginning we know now let us talk about the pause <laughs> now we know how you started yes. So what was that pause that we are here today to discuss and reveal and let people know and get them inspired that how that in spite of that pause, you have become what you are today. So what was that pause which really transformed your life and what was in that that you really uh, did so that you uh, could become what you are today? Please tell us about that. Thank you so much, Dr. Monica. Okay, so the pauses, there were many pauses in my life. I'll be very honest with you. To start with the first pause when I actually 
tried to commit it commit suicide yes it's mm. a very personal thing but i all now i started sharing these personal things with everybody because you know that's how people understand that life is an opportunity mm. life is not the thing it's an opportunity mm. whether you lose it or whether you own it mm. so it's very important to understand that how important is your life not only for you the others for your family but for you yourself itself yes 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 so that was a pause and then i realized that no i'm not doing justice i'm not doing justice to myself i'm not doing justice to my parents i'm not doing justice to my daughter and uh, committing suicide am i a loser no i'm not mm. a loser right mm. life god has given me birth for some reason and that is mm. why i am born as a human being yeah so in spite of giving up i need to get back i need to stand by i need to bounce back and stand for myself stand for my daughter stand for my parents and stand for many others also who yes. are actually you know having some problems in their lives having are struggling with the something mm. or the other in their life yes. so that was first pause and that is how i got bounced back and started working started my own journey in a professional life actually in a career then second pause was fine now i have a luxurious life because i've been working with the corporate sector and i have everything i have a huge salary packages luxurious car driver luxurious house everything is in, you know in place but what there was some something was missing again something was again missing now what was missing happiness and peace of mind absolutely absolutely bang on bang on <laughs> because so that is no what we don't get. yeah we don't get happiness by all of these material things and yeah. as a happiness coach i can really tell people and that is what i put it in my programs also that we don't get happiness something from outside and especially from material things material things yes yeah. very truly said material these are all material things you know uh, you have heard i have heard from many i mean for many people in past in especially when they go to mandir when they go to temple and they pray to god okay bhagwan ji aaj hamari ye ichha puri ho jayegi to aap ko ye chadaunga aaj meri ye ichha ho jayegi to main ye chadaunga the people yeah. of the people became so materially they stop thinking about the real happiness mm. the absolute happiness and the absolute happen, happiness comes from within when yes. you are actually doing something purposeful not mm. only for yourself not only for your own family but for the others in the society in the outer world as well then the real happiness comes into picture and then absolutely. the peace of mind comes into picture absolutely so that was another pause when i stopped working with the corporate sector i gave up with my luxurious lifestyle and yes when you get into education sector we all are aware that the education sector and uh, uh, corporate sector they have It's a lot of difference. Vast difference, yeah. Vast difference between. Vast difference. Yeah. But then I said it's fine. I have to do something which gives me peace, which give, which is purposeful, and yes, which can help the younger generation as well. So yes. that is how I stepped into the education sector, and uh, the journey is great, going great. I worked with the uh, various uh, organizations that do, you know, government organizations. I would say I won't say that private organizations only, but government also. i worked with teach for india i worked with the uh, british council macmillan dseu and it's a every year we do these projects with the government and then i became a mentor of change with niti ayog during the lockdown that was another beautiful journey and a beautiful uh, breakthrough for me actually then there was another uh, you know pause for me uh, the another pause came to my life that was the lockdown again now the lockdown says okay fine now you are working and uh, you are working with the you know various schools private schools uh, in fact in fact before the before the lockdown much before the lockdown when i thought now it's high time that i'm working as a employee i need to start something of my own where mm. i can give time to myself where mm. i can meditate also i can give time to my family also and i can go to various other places where the you know private organizations are not able to reach out 
for example slum areas ngos government schools so that is how uh, you know i again stopped working as an employee i yes that was again a different kind of sacrifice for me because starting your own venture has some own risks lot yes. of things are involved when you have yeah. to you know we have a habit of getting the salary per month in our account <laughs> and yes it's been credited oh wow the huge salary is <laughs> credited but as an entrepreneur yes multiple risk factors are involved yes. i am sure you must be uh, agree Absolutely. to it yes so that was another pause for me and mm. uh, during that journey i'll be very honest with you why actually i stopped working as a employee because i had to go through a uh, you know a serious uh, surgery kind of mm-hmm. and i had a lot of health issues because something was going in my mind and i yeah. did not have that you know um, balance in my mm. professional life personal life in my mindset was not up to the mark and i was just not able to i mean my thoughts were so i was juggling in my in my mind actually yes, what to do yes. what not to do so i had to go through a surgery and then i stopped i said no i cannot take it on me anymore i have to take care of myself i have to take care of my uh, fitness whether it is emotionally or physically as physically, well yes absolutely so there my journey with entrepreneurship started actually awesome awesome so that uh, what i can see from here is that uh, pause is never a stop yes in a sentence we have lot of uh, commas no we have commas so that we are able to continue with the same sentence with a little different kind of a flow and that is what is life and rabia's life is a very beautiful example of such kind of a sentence where with every pause with every comma that she had in her life she has flowed in her life uh, with more zest and more enthusiasm with more purpose and with more meaning in uh, adding to her life and also adding a lot of value to people around her and that is what i can uh, that i can just conclude of whatever your pause was all about one thing also came about from here is that when we are on the path of being a contributive person in the society that does not mean that we stop contributing to our own well being because sometimes we get into that kind of a flow and we become kind of a sacrificial goat because we get a lot of high out of that and we just flow into that so women out there who are really working very hard for the society please take a pause and understand that are you also working with the same zest for your own well being or not and if you are not please you can reach out to any one of us because we are here to help you to come out of the pause and also if you want to take a radical pause we can help you out there so post the pause now that you have taken so many pauses rabia what is that that you have now doing and uh, in a more uh, kind i'm not saying it is a perfect because nothing is perfect here in the world and we should never be try to perfect do anything but how are you progressing in your field uh, now post so many pauses please tell thank us. you so much for putting throwing this question dr monica like you said that pause is never a stop you know full stop means full stop the life is over so if you feel that your life is over then there is nothing ahead right it's a road is clo- bl- blocked road is clo- closed but that is all here you know that is all here mm. you need to understand you need to sit the way you said take a pause pause mm. means sit relax calm your mind and ask questions to yourself yes what i am supposed to do next mm. how i am going to grow myself what next opportunity should i grab which can empower me and at the same time empower others also yes so the answer to your question progress and perfection i understand there is nothing called perfection for me there is nothing called perfection yes you can yes. never be perfect if you are perfect then you will become god and we are yeah. all human being we cannot yes. be god right yes, yes and plus we have no rights to 
make correction in others also. That is yes. very important, you know, very, Absolutely. very important part I would like to discuss here because this is what I have experienced and I have learned in my life that the moment you start correcting others, you stop understanding your own mistake. You stop understanding where you went wrong. And that is how your progress stops, basically. Very true, very true. So for me, yes, there is always a new day. There is always a new growth. There is always a new learning. The more I learn, the more I progress. This is how I would like to say here. Yes, wonderful, so, wonderful. So, you know, in spite of making corrections in others, correct yourself, improve yourself, introspect yourself, See how you can improve and look new in the new day, actually. Yes. Because, yes. you know, looking new doesn't mean that you wear branded clothes and you are just decked out with the makeup, branded cosmetic. No. It has to reveal from your smile. It has to reveal from your inner soul the happiness. Your smile shows whether it is an artif artificial smile or a real smile, actually. Actually, actually. And your eyes speak. Don't forget your eyes always speak up. Yes, yes. So your eyes, if your eyes are shining, you are progressing. And if your eyes are showing dullness, that means you are not on the right track. I agree. So, in spite of pinpointing others, go ahead, sit, stand in a mirror, look at your the mirror and look at yourself how you can improve yourself, what is that new, th something new to learn for you so that you can upskill yourself and you can grow each day. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, so it is about daily self-renewal. That is how I can put what she has just spoken is that every day is a new day and every day you can be a new, new you also. Why not? Because your cells are changing every day. Your neurons are having connections, new connections every day. It's only that you are not able to see. So inside you're any which way is changing. So why not manifest that change outside also? That is how I see. And also the correction part, which uh, Arabia you're saying, I also believe that it is not about correction. It is about connection. So if we, instead of getting people to correct themselves, if we start to put an effort to connect to the people, that will be even greater service to them. Yeah, I will. So, uh, yes, beautifully said. Connect before you correct, because yes. you know you can't change <laughs> the other, but you can always connect with them and learn yes. from them, so that they can also learn from you. Absolutely, that is how we grow together in this world, basically in this society. Yeah. You yes. can't grow alone. You can't no. grow as an individual. You need to have hands along with you, right? So that is what is called society. So if you're not together, that means you will not land up, up anywhere. If you are going ahead alone, you will see one day that you're all alone. There is nobody around you. Yes, yes. So very beautifully As... said, Dr. Monica, connect before you correct. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Rabia. I would now... Uh... Uh, tell you to just share one message because after so many good good things that you've already told but still I would like to just uh, have you say one message uh, one uh, one takeaway from your life uh, for the audience who are listening today so I have a lot of things to sh say but yeah okay, to cut it short yes the time is getting uh, running actually and we all are working so hard that we can't, you know, if we are not doing a time management, that means we will not be able to work for so many things, actually. Yes, yes. So, yes, to cut it short, I would like to say here, just two liners, two liner message for everybody, whosoever is listening, whosoever is working, whether it is a woman, a youth or a man, mm -hmm. be the best version of yourself each day yes. i know many yes. people are saying these things th these days but you know when you put it into practicality it is difficult but nothing is impossible believe me mm -hmm. and we all are hearing this word change makers right i would like to say here yes we all are change change makers only when you say 
be the change to bring the change. Yes, yes, of course. So Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change to see the real change in the world. I would say be the change to see the change, to bring the change. Yes. It is not easy to bring the change in the society unless you change yourself. Yes, absolutely. Very well said. So this that is, is this what was... I would like to say here. My only <laughs> messages to all my well-wishers and to all my beautiful people who are connected to me or who are not connected to me. Thank you so much, Ramya. This was so awesome. How you have uh, intertwined the life's small intricacies and how you have made it so profound. And if you are able to live a life like this, I'm sure we will be a happy individual. And that is why we are here on this earth to be a happy individual. So thank, thank you so much, Ramya. It was wonderful having you here. Namaste. Thank you, Dr. Monica. It was I'm it's my sincere gratitude towards you for inviting me on this. Sure. Thank you. Thank Namaste. you so much. Keep shining. Have a good day ahead. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.